Today we are discussing the movie that everyone has been waiting for this summer, Meg 2 The Trench, once again starring Jason Statham who returns as the iconic Jonas Taylor. While exploring the ocean's depths, a research team encounters several threats including three massive Megs. Meg 2 was one of those movies I had no idea was in development until at the beginning of 2023 I looked up this year's slate of movies and realized that we're getting a sequel to the Meg. I wasn't complaining when I heard that news. Because even if the first movie is very dumb and rightfully so, it was still a fun summer shark movie. And how could you ever go wrong when you combine Jason Statham with a Megalodon? That is a recipe for success. It worked in the first movie, and for the most part, it works in Meg 2, even if it's not as good as the original. Not to anyone's surprise, the sequel is getting terrible reviews, but what did people expect out of this movie? It's a Megalodon movie with Jason Statham. What did people think we were going to get? Another Jaws? A masterpiece? No. It's supposed to be a stupid, over-the-top film. That's the point, and I'm all here for it. If you're doing a Megalodon movie, make it as stupid as possible, but still keep the thrills and kills. And when you look back on Meg 1 and now Meg 2, I think these films balance each other out pretty well, because both have spotty CGI, but one is better for seeing the sharks, the first film, and the sequel is better for the kills. We get... A lot more kills in Meg 2, which is exactly all I could ever ask for in a Meg sequel. With that being said, the peaks are more fun in this film compared to the first. At the same time, the lows are lower than anything we saw in the original. For a good portion of Meg 2, we don't see the Megs. We're stuck with the human characters who go on this mission to cross the bottom of the trench going for three kilometers. And it's... Not that exciting for a Megalodon movie. I'm not sure why they don't just take the easy route and focus solely on the Megs as the main villains. They just had to include human villains this time around. Other monster movies have made this mistake countless times too, like the Jurassic Park and Godzilla franchises. If you think about it, for most of the middle of Meg 2, all we have is this escape mission, which... I could have very well done without. It reminded me of a worse version of that movie Underwater that came out close to three years ago. However, they make up with it in the final 30 minutes, which is where the movie truly shines with everything you'd ever want out of a film like this. You get shark attacks, monster fights, and plenty of action all happening while Jason Statham is caught in the middle fending off these giant mags in the most Jason Statham way imaginable. Barbenheimer who? Meg 2 The Trench should have been your most anticipated movie of the summer because this is a masterpiece. It will go down as the best summer blockbuster of all time. You can't change my mind. In all seriousness, Meg 2 is a dumb movie with lots of fun for anybody who loves monster and shark movies. Again though, for a Meg movie, it meanders too long. It's one of those ridiculous over-the-top movies that focuses too much on the human characters as opposed to the monsters themselves. I wouldn't have a problem with this if it was just just Jason Statham's character because he's like the greatest action movie star of all time up there with Keanu Reeves and a few others but no they just had to integrate the human villains which you know don't you think a giant shark is enough and yes the dialogue is even worse in the second go around for the Meg movies but who cares I had a good time I didn't need much else from what I got watching Meg 2 it's a Megalodon movie starring Jason Statham. I got everything I wanted. So I'm giving Meg 2 The Trench a 4.5 out of 10. It is a step below the first movie because it chooses to focus on the human characters more than the Megs compared to the first movie. But you know what? It's not supposed to be a great movie. A 4.5, I think, is a pretty fair grade for a film like this. Anyway, guys, did you see Meg 2, The Trench? If so, what did you think about it, and how would you compare it to the first movie? Do you think it's better? Do you think it's worse? Let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, as always, if you are new to my channel, click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.